Now, let me start with Cantor. Well, it's hard to imagine that infinite number were not noticed before, but this is. He says that the rational order is characterized by dense, no fair, and large, and countable. The part in this field say this theory is Alex zero categorical in our Okay, why it, why it is? Because we can start, if we have two candidates, we can build an isomorphism between them by finite approximation. Now, let me go a little before this prehistoric uh, part of the history. Let me go, oh, okay, by the way, uh, I will cite some words, the work from this century are all with Baldwin and Laskowski, and in particular, the lecture will appear. Now, let us go to Holland's Broken Heart. Well, I, I haven't read, and I can't read German, so I didn't check the history carefully, but still, supposedly he wants, people didn't distinguish it, so with being second order logic, first order logic, maybe you have heard of this lately, and he thought that say, the axioms of number theory or the sentence holding them will be categorical, but the theory of number theory has more models. I think this would seem to him like a kind of failure, maybe a wrong direction, but what people think of their discovery is not always the a posteriori consider them. What essentially we will say not categorical enough. That is, the first order sentences which hold for number theory has other, unlike, unlike dense linear order. Oh, I forget to say linear. Yes. So, but what can you do when you lose such categoricity? There are various, uh, uh, various remedies, like the one who the doctor tell him he has a terminal illness. One of the reasonable response is to change the doctor. <laughs> now, in our case, what we do is we change the questions. I don't know when, Then, first order theory. It is categorical, but necessarily fixing the cardinal lambda. Nullity of the model. So, even if you look at, I hope you will agree that the most trivial and easy theory, first order theory, is the one on equality. You just have equality and you can say there are infinitely many elements. It's hard for me to imagine anything simpler. Now, again, it is categorical only in 
when you fix the cardinality. Now, what, what he has done much in mathematics, and he asked, in particular, asked the following question. He asked, what can he consider? Suppose you look at a complete first order countable theory. What can be the cardinals in which it is categorical? So he set out to find examples. What is the categoricity spectrum of the countable complete first order? So, if we look at the quality, he say all. Then he look at Cantor and say, if we look at dense, linear, well known pairs, Aleph zero yet, Aleph lambda at least Aleph one no. Okay. Sahron, it's getting smaller. Please just try to keep. The All letters are good. getting smaller. Yeah. Thank you. That's okay up there. That's okay up there. Just there, yeah. Mm -hmm. All. Then linear or there. Lambda is bigger than Alpha. Hello, Alpha. Now comes a uh, uh, algebraically close wheel. Characteristic uh, say zero or lambda bigger than other zero. I don't know what this example is, never say combining. Now, I think there are very few ways, not some large part of the conjecture in mathematics comes from one of the following methods. One method is, if I can find an example, this is all there is. The dual is, if I can't prove everything exists, okay. But we go by the first, this, what conjecture, those, are all possibilities. I heard from Jenkins that much of model theory in the, up to uh, 50s and beginning of uh, 60s was motivated by it and not part, and that many of them more than the Okay, now mathematicians are not uh, happy something like if you have a theorem, it is a ground for improvement. What can we go? We may ask for my book. Characterize the dual when when the number of models up to homomorphism is maximal. Now. 
But the main point was classification uh, and um, taxonomy of theory. There is much to be said, not today. Another is maybe change the logic. Or class of models. Now, one of one way was to add to add the quantifier, there are out of one excess involving as can this be categorical? So the quantifiers that exist are one. Yes, there are at least uncountably many. So this uh, maybe it has only models in cardinality aleph one and they are unique now there is a series of where which here in last century which uh, in fact this deal we answer it but but you can this it is i don't know but Mm. Is this lead to? KT is the atomic model. Of it. That is, every finite sequence a complete type is determined by one formula, okay? One formula, every element, A0, A, and the one, and type determined by one formula. So this is very reasonable and doesn't look so much check, uh, different than all the models of the theory. But it's okay. Categorical in Alec 1, Alec 2, all Alec N, then a categorical in all lambda is an excellent for every n, meaning we understand the theory, the model. While you're writing, just to clear this on the, on the last board is the definition of an atomic class, right? Every type, yes, yes this <laughs> is the definition. Should I say more about what is the definition of atomic class? Is, did everybody understand what's an atomic class? Just maybe repeat one more time, Silke, please. Okay. Quicks. 
Sound the ball complete and pay pay fee will be fixed from now on. I M models of P if A if A zero a n belong to n for there is p x zero x n such that n satisfied that those elements satisfy and this is one and two if n satisfied Another one, then P, P implies C. Yes? So, one first, one piece of info, first order information is enough. Is this now clear yes, enough? Yes, it's clear, thank you. Yes. So, this is the reasonable class. At some point, you say first order atomic, well, but the model theory is quite different. Now, here is a thesis. The thesis is that the fact that semantically the model, the theory is categorical, the class is categorical somewhere, in some part not, will tell us that the theory can be very simple, very complicated. It can be like number theory, yes? Well, it probably is not as, as easy as the quality, but at least maybe like algebraically closed field, yes? Of course, more complicated, but still. Okay? So, but here, here is a theorem I like, which says that if you are categorical, if such class is categorical, well, Aleph zero is trivial in all the Aleph ends, then it is it is, is it, you can understand it, yes? The models are transparent, and this is called excellent. Well, the name uh, indicates, would say, and in particular, categorical everywhere. So, generally, in order to prove such a thing, you analyze, you analyze the theory, say, having only one model in the Aleph N, restrict the theory, and then you know so much so that you could prove. But I think if weak G C F two to the Aleph zero less than two to the Aleph one, etc. Okay. Okay. Now eh. Okay, here is another, when I speak with Leo Harrington years ago, he looked and say, why, why do you need categoricity in all the Aleph? And he said, well, of course, otherwise you will have a theorem. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he wasn't convinced. So there is a work with hard which says that maybe categoricity stop in Ale 1752 or whatever. Yes. This is a general number. It can stop in any end. Now this finish the ancient history from previous millennium and start from this and all those work are here. And the motivate, I will go into those others, but yes. And in, in one of those 88, it was proved that if we look at variant 
In fact, the, the theorem here doesn't speak on the atomic, but more generally, and there were counter examples which show that uh, this. So, is this? Wait, can is or we know categorically in Alec one implies two excellent EG amalgamation. And more well, as I say, if if the weak CH oh, is the necessary. Is the question clear? It is much better to prove things in the FC than assuming even such a cardinal hypothesis. Is the, conject is the question clear? Yes, the question is clear. Yes, OK. And then in one of the paper 88, say yes, but eight, eight, say yes, yes on many variants. But Laskowski find the K failed. Okay, so the question is just the example was wrong or the theorem is wrong. Okay, so so we we want to say something on this and well we have there are question on this. Okay, so this has. I don't know. This, this was nature and there. It is. And of course, all level. Yes. Is this is the first step, yeah? First step. Okay. So now, uh, if you haven't, uh, if you haven't, uh, start dreaming or looking at the sailing, uh, I will tell you at least the theorems. If a categorical and have model in Two to the alif bigger than two to the alif zero, then yes. Is the theorem clear? Yes, you get the same conclusions as before under these weaker assumptions. Yes, I have added one assumption. Yes. Now, what uh, there are two ways to justify this. A, uh, there were many uh, tries to, to prove or to see. In fact, I cite them, and they say the counterexample have to have some in quite interesting structure. They are not very arbitrary. We can say something on them, but not this. However, example, Okay, 
Every model Martin axiom lambda implies categorical in lambda. Is the example clear? What did you write with every model? Every model is of, of cardinality. Just I cannot read. Of less than the continuum, yes? No, no, smaller or bigger. No. Everyone has cardinality at most the continuum. OK. This is complementary to this Yes, yes, account. OK. Less or equal ah. than the continuum, then for every lambda which has Martin axiom, the, ca the class is categorical in lambda. Yes, so this means you can, having, assuming in ZFT that you have categorically in all cardinals smaller than the continuum, doesn't help you to, to prove and to get to the theorem, yes? Yes. So, so this shows that this example is not a witness for the author's uh, inability, but a part of nature, yes? Yes. And why I put the 96%? I'm quite convinced, but there were many wrong proofs, and, uh, and it, is, it is true that the proof is from, uh, OK. This proof is from this fall, September, but this proof is from late December. So, okay, you may have your doubts. So I, this, anyhow, I heard that in social sciences, 5% of the error of up to 5% is considered acceptable. So we are doing a little better. Thank you. Hello? Yes. Okay. So, uh, are there questions so far? Let me no. say. Uh, hello? No questions so far. Yeah, I of checked. course, the conjecture is the conjecture is something like. Categoricity up to bet omega yes, implies excellent and less under smaller Okay. Bet omega, okay. Bet zero in alex zero bet n plus one is two to the bet n bet omega is the next sum okay and uh, should be better but so this is first step so the theorem is the first step Maybe there will be no more, who know. But anyhow, originally, as I tell you, the question was mainly on Aleph 1. Yes, in fact, this is what they like Leo Harrington say, and this was, uh, I move it to the Aleph N. And, uh, and so those two, two actually clarify the situation for Aleph 1 quite reasonably. Now, I have intended to start with giving some outline of the theorem, 
but and then give some sketch on the example. But if you prefer the inverse, I'd be willing to change. You mean okay. the outline of the proof and then the example? I intend to give a first outline and the proof there's something on the example. Okay. I say that in fact, if there, there is a, the audience request to invert it, I'm, I'm not the fault. Okay. Any preferences? There are no preferences, Aaron. And I think okay. it's good to see so the proof. After having a democratic uh, a vote unanimously, we agree to this. Of course. Okay. So what we do? An outline. By the way, how much time do, do I have? Well, I think you started a little late, so you have like 20, 25 minutes. Okay, fine. Maybe it was with questions, but you just go ahead, okay? Nobody will stop you. Yes, step one is... Okay. Assume... a finite sequence from point two now type a m one m two is And to satisfy B A B B included in M1. So the type is all the pieces of infinite pieces of info first order information on how the sequence A behave on, on the smaller model. Now well some type But where is A from? A is from M1? A is from M2. M2. So this is the type of A over M1. Okay. So if it is in M1, you can then it's say trivial. A, okay. A, yes, A is equal to B. So very exciting type, but you know too much on it. <laughs> so this type is P is definable. In for there is there is finite a included in M one such that if B one B two are in corners. Maybe B and C in M one realize same type over A, then so E so also over A plus A. So the type is definable in the sense that the type of B over those parameters determine the type of, of them is A. Okay, now, so, we can how we ask question. Okay. 
and we ask Fixing M1 if the set of types and M1 and fixing of a countable and two as above. Countable. If yes, we are done. We can see. Is this clear? No, really. Oh. So you fix F1 is countable, and you now say, suppose that for every A, this type P is countable. No, no, you, 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 you miss one, uh, one level. You look at the set is countable, the set of such types. Ah, OK. No, yeah, no, no, this is the difference sound minor, but it's the, because M1 is countable and the language is countable, the each type is countable. So this is trivial, but, but the set maybe not. But maybe there are many. Yes. Okay. What about definable tasks? Before you go out away, so this is you are just telling us we can finish, but you haven't given us the proof. It's not supposed to be obvious that we can finish. No, 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 no. I say we can finish. I don't say it is obvious and you're in your if you don't see it. Okay, thank you. No, no, I say if we can. I don't say that uh, it is obvious, yes? But I, I don't have time to give you know. Okay. I may return to this if we have extra time. The same is, okay? So let us see. This is, there is something to be said here, yes? And what about the definable type? Yes. Okay, again, okay. One a branch of the code. So now here, let let n in k be of cardinality alpha one. We can choose m alpha alpha less than omega one countable. Increasing continuous. Okay. Now, continuous going to M. With union, union M alpha is M. This is M bar. Now, let P alpha B is the type of L in L alpha in M, A included in M. Okay? Order, order, inclusion. Okay? Now we look at this three, and at least if you go for some set theory, you ask how many, how are the branches? Yeah. 
there is a natural order if you have a type over m omega you can restrict it to m7 so this is this becoming three with omega levels now you ask let us say here for simplicity no definable type that is if there are countably many we can ignore them somehow but it is simpler question does this depend yes, where is the p or maybe i am p oh, is I'm sorry. Four. i have okay i have is the type a m alpha n p m is union p alpha three with omega one level. Okay. Do you have some white chalk left? The pink is not showing as well oh, as the white. Yes, yes. Uh, no, it's okay for the moment. Okay. Okay. Question Is there an omega one branch? Does the question make sense? Yes. Yes. Okay. So the proof now split. Okay. Each case is treated differently. Uh, let me tell, I don't know if I will have time to see. If, if there is no one branch, no like such branch, then we can look at a model of cardinality continuum plus. Up to now, this part of the hypothesis has not played. And we take this class is a quite strong kind of sub-models of cardinality continuum. And we ask, are all types of a bit definable? If not, then there is, there is a, oh, I see, but theorem answer answer De depend only on M, not M bar, because any two will agree on the club. Now, if if no no branch if M1 this of cardinality continuum this of cardinality bigger than continuum yes all types definable And this implies there is an in Alec one, and which is, you know, all uh, okay. Everything is fine. Yes. Okay. So this is uh, well. Our, by our present day, it is contradiction. Or uh, on the other hand. If no. 
now. So if you there are branches. We build by forcing a model with no branches. Well, you say, but this is independent eliminating by absoluteness, completeness theorem. For a strong logic. Okay, so I don't certainly what I tell you is not the proof, but I hope you get some idea, some impression how the proof goes. Indeed, you told me also to tell you when there are like a few minutes left. Yes. So now it would be that time. So okay. you, you define so few as you like. Okay, of course. Yes, if the The example well, uh, okay, for a model PM QM a partition. E and equivalent relation okay. A divided by if you look at M restricted to one equivalence class is a model of another theory of some if we prime atomic and maximal okay notice if uh, some atomic cases some atomic classes have only one model in aleph zero no uncountable model equivalently there is a countable model of Carnality Alex zero, but it is maximal. You can't extend it. This is E respect PQ, U divided by E is essentially fair, yes? Every equivalent clock on Q corresponds to two. Now, the point is, so we look at this is the picture. This is P, this is Q. Okay, okay. Is the picture clear? 
Yes, so you have a partition into two parts. The equivalence relation is between elements of P and elements of Q, but the one on Q is determined by P. That's the basic idea, right? You don't, you don't have two equivalents, it's a two run from P and one from Q equivalent, but every equivalence class is corresponding to two. So there is, I don't know, a relation which tells you. Okay. okay. The point is, each a if okay if okay you have a a one a two included in p are e equivalent classes connected. To B, to B, which is included in UM, an E equivalent class, class. Now, each C belong or B belong to B, define. A subset X X A of A one and the Y A of A two. Okay. Now those will be independent. All those sets will be independent. Okay? Those sets are very independent. Valid, independent. Okay. So no repetition. So if if a one a two prime b prime and b belong r as above. So the only common thing is A1, yes? A1 is the only common thing. Otherwise, is then X A, X B, or whatever I say, I think, oh, here yeah. I say B. No, it is on the, for the first, X A. I have written here B, so it should be X. There was no A. So X, B, and here B prime belongs to this. It is not equal to this one. Now, so if we fix one P equivalence class, and suppose there are many equivalent, there are more than continuum many elements, but the L, each equivalent class is countable. So the number of equivalence classes is the same as the number of elements. And the Q are just pairs. So the fact of, and okay, is there an Aleph one? So if we vary A2 and then B prime, we will get more than continuum subsets of a countable set. Each equivalent class is countable. So we don't have a space uh, to help them, okay? This is the, the reason why there is no more model 
of cardinality Morgan continuum implies empty. On the other hand, the when you look, if you look with with on, on the picture with finite binocular, yes, you only if your eyes, if you see it, only finite. It is so easy marking axiom imply categories. Well, I suppose this is more or less a natural place. So, thank you very much, Sahron. Brilliant talk. So questions, please. Let me ask a question while they are thinking. Many people in this audience are doing finite model theory, or several yes. people. It seems to me that some of these questions could be reformulated so that they make sense in finite model theory. Am I right? Uh, yes, uh, generally. It's okay. Generally, the infinite is a limit hey. A G model theory deal with the theory of finite field. Fields, which also, as far as I know, has crucial role in combinatorics. And this means mean sentence set holding for all but finitely many, large enough finite spheres. So uh, this is a case, and in fact, a would productive make wonderful things, and uh, Apply also apply things from classification theory and work of Zimberg and to va various fields, other fields, and in particular, he get even a better finite bound from this, from such approach. But uh, I don't think I don't have. Let us see. From my point of view, uh, the theorems are justified by their own. Beauty, but I believe in the unity of mathematics. So I believe that even if you find properties which hold like this, which come where uh, their origin is some uncountable problems, they they are natural, and so they will have also uh, implication and meaning for finite as a limit case. Uh, I think history is uh, 
justify this, but of course, uh, as I tell you, this is not my motivation, and, uh, and I haven't worked particularly on this. Is this answer satisfactory, or I should say something more? Well, thank you very much. Janos had some comment on a paper with Laskowski. Yes, yes, I will be glad to hear. No, I don't have any comments. Ah, okay, sorry, I thought. There, are there any other questions, comments? Um, okay, so Janos first. There are lately, the, in finite <coughs> combinatorics, people were looking at the number of models in, uh, in a fixed cardinality or the number of ways you can put a graph on a fixed set of uh, elements and there is uh, Lashkovsky and his collaborator Terry have some recent work which merges uh, stability theory and and uh, finite combinatorics. Uh, do you have any opinion about this or you are aware of this? I, I'm sorry. Uh, I, I have noticed the following sociological uh, 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 statement so I have to say that the sample is, my sample is not very great. It says that the one who writes all the time doesn't suffice to read much. <laughs> However, I can tell you, I'm sure they are great work, but I can, you probably have heard about Semer Editorium, and Mary Antti and myself has work on a look at a, so the, there are counter examples which say for summary that it's not the theorem is not is wrong but that the bound is right and and they have okay and now if you say if you they this raise a question what occurs if you have half complete subgraph yes uh -huh. And the, the words of, of uh, Marianne and myself tell you that if, uh, if, if you exclude them, yes, if you exclude the half graph, complete half graphs, if you exclude uh, my graph. If you exclude half, half complete sub half complete bipartite graph, graph, the bounds are not. Are good the bounds are right in the same editor and we don't need what I'm just Take helping it. what you said repeating what I don't understand the question I was just what? repeating what you said because there was yes. a question of what you said yes so so the, so Janos, this is the, not the same as you are saying but it is part of the same phenomena I think it, it corroborates what you were saying yes Thank you. Are there any other questions? Well, in this case, first, Aaron, thank you for telling us these news. These are really, you know, new theorems, old theorems, all combined. So thank you for this. Thank you for coming. Thank you for uh, being with us and uh, you know, presenting this talk, which to me was very enjoyable, and I'm sure to everybody else. Thank you. Thank you.